Hey, what's going on, man? Trip Kramer here from tripadvice.com. On today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you something really cool. It's actual research that was done, and I've been reading this in a variety of articles, and it's all about research done on the sensitive parts of a woman. So, what are the areas of a woman's body that are the most sensitive? And then according to what sort of sensation, whether it's a light touch, a harder touch, a vibration sort of touch. So I'm gonna be breaking this all down today on this video. The reason why this is so important, and I mentioned this in a previous video recently, and I, I hear a lot about this. The reason why you wanna focus on a woman's pleasure is because there is a law of reciprocity. You can look this up if you'd like, but it's talked about in the book Influence by Robert Cialdini, the idea of reciprocity, meaning a person feels the need to reciprocate when you do something for them without being asked. The funny thing is, is even if you ask, if they ask you to do something and you do it for them, they're still going to feel the need to reciprocate, okay? So people feel this kind of like, uh, this hole that needs to be filled. It's like, oh, okay, someone gave me something. I feel like I need to do something back. It's so powerful. And that's why I like to bring this law into the bedroom. If you are someone that's focusing on pleasing the woman, it is far likely that she is going to want to reciprocate on you. And of course, if you're also good in the bedroom, that's just gonna be good for the relationship. She's gonna want to come back to be with you more in the bedroom. And if you're not in a relationship, she's just gonna to wanna to come and be able to be with you more because she knows you're good in the bedroom. So lots of reasons why you want to learn this stuff. Why don't we dive in? So this is broken down into three parts. There's light touch, then there's pressure touch, and then there's vibration. Okay, these are the three different types of sensation that you can have when you are with a woman. So what they found was with light touch that the spots that are the most sensitive are the neck, okay, the neck, the forearm, and also the area that is part of the lower part of a woman's vagina that's near the anus. So these areas are the most sensitive to light touch. If you don't understand what light touch means, I would say that this is like you are barely grazing it with your fingers, with the back of your hand. It's like a light graze where you're not firmly pressing. So these are the areas that are very sensitive to that light sort of touch. So this is something you can do when you are first getting intimate with a woman, right? If you are kissing her neck, for example, that's gonna be a big turn on because she's most sensitive and you can kiss very lightly. So that's something that you can do as well as maybe even graze the forearm, maybe while you guys are hanging out, maybe while you're cuddling, if you guys are in bed, you can be touching her there. And then of course, if you're going down south and you want to start to turn her on, you can be very light and graze with your tongue or your fingers on that part of the vagina that is the lower part. This next part might be a little bit more obvious, but still good to know here. So when talking about now pressure, okay, so putting a little bit more pressure when you are touching her, again, maybe not too forceful, but more than that light graze that we were just talking about. So the places that respond the best, that are gonna turn her on the most, are on the clitoris, and also the breast. However, be careful, it's not the side breast or side boob. That part is not as sensitive to pressure, but the top of her breast or even the nipple along with the clitoris. That's gonna respond the best to firm touch. And that is interesting, right? Because a lot of guys might think, oh, that's a place to be really soft. Maybe you wanna tickle there. You just wanna be very light, but no, now you know that it's the more firmer touch that is going to make the biggest difference. So if you're doing some sort of foreplay, make sure that you're putting more pressure on the nipple and also the clitoris and don't be too soft down there. All right, let's go to the next one, vibration. This one also a little bit more obvious but still worth mentioning, mentioning which is the clitoris. That is gonna respond the most to vibration, which is kind of interesting, right? It's like, okay, that part does have the most nerve endings, so there's no other part in her body that's really going to feel that response if it's vibration, right? So maybe vibrating back and forth with your finger or of course using some sort of instrument in the bedroom, sex toys, things like that. So you wanna maybe focus more 
on a little bit more of back and forth vibration when you are on the clitoris as opposed to anywhere else on her body. Obviously, right? Like rubbing really fast on her forearm, it's probably not gonna feel that great. That's gonna be more sensitive to light touch. However, they do say in research that the nipple does respond a little bit to vibration, but not as much as the clitoris. So with all this information, what are you gonna do about it? You can memorize this stuff, but here's what you can do right now. What you can do is you can take one of these and I would first practice the one where you are gonna be touching her neck. And by the way, this is going to be demoed in my trips tension technique, which you can check out down in the description below. Okay, so you can check that out if you want to learn more about how to initiate that move. And just try that first to start turning her on because you might not be in a situation right now where you're maybe, you know, you're gonna be having sex or doing foreplay or any of that kind of stuff. So the first thing you can test out is her neck. If you wanna see a demo of how this is done, you can see it, it's for free, trips tension technique, down below in the description, click it, get it, free, you're gonna love it. Hope this helps, press that like button if it does help so I can know that it's helped you and I'll put out more videos like this and I'll see you in the next video.